Hey, this is Russ. You know, I've had a jazz knee unit for quite a while, actually. I think the first time I had one was about a year ago, and then I got another unit back in uh, six months later, as you all know. So um, I had a request from one of our viewers about how do you change the jazz knee unit from extension to flexion and flexion back to extension. So I contacted Jazz and I wanted to make sure I did this correctly. So they gave me some insight as to how most of the units are shipped and um, that uh, not all units are shipped this way. So I wanna show you um, how to make that change if your unit matches the one I'm going to show you, <laughs> okay? Now, Jazz has a couple of different units available. This one is the SPS one. This is the one that they rent out. And uh, you know that you have an SPS unit if it's made out of metal, all right? You have an easy unit if it's uh, made out of plastic. So um, I'm gonna be talking about the metal one because the metal one is the one that can convert from extension to flexion and flexion back to extension. Uh, the the uh, EZ units are made specifically for extension and specifically for flexion. So you'd have two separate units, but since these convert, you need to know how to convert them, okay? So I wanna cover a couple things first. Um, Jazz caused this center section to tower, okay? Now you probably would have gotten, if, if you ordered one of these things and, and one of the Jazz reps came out to measure you, uh, you probably would have gotten uh, the unit uh, a week or two later. Uh, and the reason is because uh, they customize these things specifically to your measurements. So the Jazz rep comes out and measures you, and then Jazz will actually manufacture these cuffs, okay, specifically to your size. And this is what takes them a little bit of time. That's why you don't get it right away. Plus, they're dealing with your insurance company and everything like that too. So that takes a little bit of time to get through all that. So if you have a unit like this, okay, your unit can go from flexion to extension. Now, right now you see this thing in the extension mode, okay? And there is a narrow section and a wide section here. So if you take a look at this, I'm gonna flip this this way here. You're gonna see that there's a couple of wing nuts right over here, okay? So we're talking about down here. So if you could identify your unit with the wing nuts, we're talking about there's a, there's a section here and a section here. So you can see that there's two, two holes right here. If yours came in the wide section, they would be on the furthest holes, okay? If your unit came in narrow, they would be on the narrow holes. We're gonna talk right now about the wide version, okay? So on my unit, mine is designed specifically for my left knee. They make units for the left and for the right, okay? So yours is just, if you're a right knee person, you would just simply reverse that, okay? But uh, here's the knob, right? And mine is set for wide, so you can see it's at the widest width, and it's currently in the extension mode. So you're gonna see up on the top here, there's three holes right on this section. Let me get a little closer here. There's three holes. If it's on the top of this hole here, okay, and the same thing on this side, all right, you're in the extension mode. If you wanna go to flexion, you're gonna pull these two pins right here and move them to either the middle or the bottom. Now, typically the flexion goes to the bottom, but uh, there is a middle section as well. And your rep should tell you which you should be using, whether you should be using the middle or the, the bottom one here, okay? So check with your rep. But it's very simple to do. To change this from extension to flexion, all I'm gonna do is pull this pin, all right? And you'll see this whole thing comes apart. I'm gonna stick it on the bottom one here for now. It's kinda hard to do it uh, facing you. There we go. <laughs> And same thing on this side. You want to match it to the exact same holes. So if you're doing the bottom one, you want both of them to be on the bottom. So now you can see we're actually in a flexion type of situation. And the tower actually is labeled extension and flexion, okay? So if you want to go to even more flexion than this, you just turn this towards the flexion mode. And you're going to see this thing is going to change quite a bit. So you see it's actually getting closer, all right? And if you don't need that much, you just widen it out by going towards the extension. So if you turn it towards the extension, you're gonna see that the unit here, the tower, is going to change, all right? So I'm gonna pull this all the way to the extension just so you can see how far this thing goes to start with, all right? So let's crank this thing up. So this is the minimum flexion you can get. So there's an angle here, right? 
But as you turn this, I'm going to turn this towards flexion now, you're going to see the unit is actually getting closer. All right. And you can do this until this, this arm goes all the way down to the bottom of the, of the tower if you can handle that far. All right. Most of us can't. So I'll put it somewhere in the middle so you can see. So you can see right here, we've already got a certain degree of bend, right? So if this is, is, this is your thigh, you've got, well, not quite, but almost a 90 degree angle already, <laughs> right? So you can imagine if we went all the way through, there's a quite a bit of push that the jazz unit can give you, all right? So let's say we want to go back to the extension mode, all right? All you need to do is pull these pins again, and uh, we're going to put it on the top of these three holes. We're going to put it on the top, just pull it, slide that into the top section, and I'm going again um, upside down here because I wanted to show you guys, but there we go. <laughs> and you want to do the exact same thing on the other side. So again, we're moving this to the top section. So both of them now are on the top. And you can see right there, we're already at an extension, right? And if you turn this to the extension mode, which is actually turning towards this direction for me, you can actually get quite a bit of extension to the point where it's hyperextending, all right? I actually use that for, for my extension to push my, my knee down further because my extension was actually pretty poor. Um, but the, yeah, the jazz unit actually got me to eight degrees. I actually took a measurement uh, just today and I measured it three times and all three times I measured eight degrees. So uh, it has helped me, all right? Now, if you're lucky, you're, you're shooting for zero degrees, right? Keep doing it. So, that's all you need to do if you need to change the unit. You want to make sure you're in the wide mode, okay? And again, down on the bottom where the, let me flip it this way, where the um, wing nuts are, you're on the farthest setting, so you're, you're wide, okay? This would be wide. If you're in the narrow, which is the two in the inner area, this is going to be a little bit different for you, okay? So I'm talking wide today, and... Um, <laughs> They tell me that most units ship out wide. If your unit ships out narrow, you may want to call Jazz, and they will tell you that you will have to change the different positions on, on, the, on the pins. Okay, So this, this is going to move to the inner sections here if you're in the narrow. All right, This whole arm will go into the inner. But if you're like most of us that have the wide section on the bottom here, where both of these are on the farthest sides, okay, you're just going to move it within the three holes here. So this would be your extension, the one on the top. Uh, there's a mid-range section, and then there's the flexion, which is the one on the bottom, okay? And you would do the exact same thing on this side too. If you move this one to the bottom, you gotta move this one to the bottom. So you, you wanna do exactly the same thing on both sides. Hey, I hope this helps you, and if it does, and you're interested, go ahead and hit that like button, and hit the subscribe button too, so you can see more things from me. I've gone through uh, quite a bit of uh, time with my knee. If you've been following my channel for a while, as of the making of this video, I'm now 15 and a half months after my knee uh, replacement. And I had a lot of problems. I had 80 uh, physical therapy sessions. I had two MUAs. Um, I, I took myself from, well, I think I think what I started out was I was in the 70s for my flexion. And uh, I was able to get all the way up to 130 degrees under extreme pushing and pain. <laughs> But I can do today 120 plus degrees on my own without being pushed. So uh, I attribute a lot of that to my physical therapists for their help. And a lot of it came from the jazz unit as well. So good units. If you need one, contact your doctor, have them write a script, let them get one for you. You do need a doctor's approval to get these units. So um, definitely contact your doctor if you need some type of help. The way I see these units are are basically used for when you're not at physical therapy, where the physical therapist is pushing your knee, this is doing that for you at home, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna do uh, three sessions in extension, three sessions in flexion. And typically you wanna go to um, up to 30 minutes at a time, okay, on each of those sessions. And uh, you wanna turn the knob until you get a pain level of between two and three. Okay, you don't want to push yourself to the point where you're hurting. So you want to be between a, a pain level of two to three, 
and let it sit there up to 30 minutes, okay? Do that three times a day. I recommend do it, do it in the morning, do it in the afternoon, do it in the evening if you can, all right? You don't wanna do it consecutively because that's a lot of pushing. Uh, spread it out a little bit. And if you do that, you should have good success. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys next time.